They say it is about the journey and not the destination. That is true for those who don't know where they're going. That is true for those who don't know what they want to achieve. Is it about the journey? That depends on the destination. CS is and has always been a front-running game within the FPS titles. The Major is absolutely a part of that as we look to carry on the legacy, which is Counter-Strike, stemming back to 1999 when this game took the video game world by storm. And this Major is going to be absolutely no different. What is a Major, might you ask? Well, I brought my friend Sponge in here, and my name is Stunna, and we're going to make this a very clear picture for you. Yeah, sure. So the Counter-Strike Global Offensive Majors are the Valve endorsed tournaments that kicked off in 2013. That's where we saw the first one go down with DreamHack Winter. Since then, we've had 13 Majors happening throughout uh, the years, and we finally got down to a very refined, very, I guess, crisp, clean tournament that stands out well and truly above the rest race. That's right. Since the induction of the 13 Majors, many other features have come along as well, Chad, to include in-game items such as skins, stickers, sprays, and the ever-coveted Pick'em Challenge, where in which you can put a trophy on your own little wall. There's a reason that these tournaments stick out above the rest, right? We have a very busy tournament schedule. They're going on constantly, lots of prize money being thrown around. But the one thing that the Major has that all those other tournaments don't is the prestige, the legacy, the idea that you'll be immortalized within the game. And you can see right here, the members on your screen, the teams, the pure and utter emotion being shown by some of the squads. You know, we had the, the Made in Brazil guys who are now, you know, they've won trophies under SK Gaming and Luminosity. Astralis have won two out of the last four majors. We had Cloud9 with that amazing upset victory over FaZe Clan and Gambit with one that, phew, I don't think anyone even saw that one coming back in PGL Krakow of 2017. Well, even if you look back this far, Chad, some might even say that's not even the real case. Cloud9 has also won a major. Things you just can't forecast. Definitely things that uh, nobody saw coming, that's for sure. But, you know, we're moving and looking forward to the next majors, the 14th major coming up. We've already had 34 different nationalities represented across the 13 majors to this point. And we're looking uh, to the next big one that's happening. Yes, the Intel Extreme Masters Katowice Supreme Major is where it's all going down, over there in the little town of Katowice, Poland, in the Spodek Arena, which can house 11,500 spectators. That's quite a stage to play on, Chad. Yeah, and I actually had the privilege of playing in the first two Katowice majors back in 2014 and 2015, respectively. And that venue, it packs out every time. You can see behind us on that wall, the fans are stepping up, they're lining up in the freezing cold. They're there year in, year out for this thing. And finally, we've got this legendary event returning to be a major in the Counter-Strike calendar. That's right. The major all begins on the 14th of February 2019. Some might even say it's a Valentine's Day date made in heaven. Yeah, look, uh, you know, we do have quite a few teams who have already, I guess, secured themselves a spot within the major. You want to take a look at who they are? Let's take a look at some of those teams that have already solidified their place in history, immortalizing themselves. Chad, run us through this one. Well, if you aren't used to how the major system actually works, we have three big stages at the major. We've got the champion stage, and if you make it that far, you secure yourself a legend spot. So we can see the teams who went to the champion stage at the London major not that long ago. We've got the likes of Astralis, the best team in the world right now. They're standing out above everybody else. They've revolutionized the way that the game is played, and these guys are looking to grab back-to-back -back major trophies. As well as a team like Astralis, we have Liquid. These guys are one of the only teams in recent times who have been able to contend against Astralis time and time again in grand finals with some star-studded individuals. We're speaking of star-studded individuals, you have Na'Vi, the likes of Simple, the best player in the world, Electronic, Flamey, Edward Zeus, these guys, uh, absolute legends in their own right. And we can't forget the underdogs, some of the teams here who show up and they shake up the Counter-Strike world. We have the likes of Big Clan, we've got the likes of Hellraisers, Complexity, all making it through to that top eight position in the London Major. Now, as you can see on this graphic here, these guys are now already residing in that legend stage. They need to find eight more teams to join them. And these teams have to come through the challenger stage. Right here, we've got six big names 
but we have to fill out another 10 spots, Trace. Yes, we absolutely have to plug the holes. We have to fill the gaps, and we have to find the competitors that truly belong to be there. Now, Chad, how is the process looking like to get there? Because it's a long, arduous road to get yourself on that major stage in Katowice. See, this is the thing with the majors. They also need to get uh, the teams to filter in, and that's through the miners, right? And the miners are also a very long process. We have to start all the way with the minor qualifiers. This is before you even get to any offline events. We have hundreds you know of teams from around the world competing in their respective regions to grab one of these coveted spots and that all kicks off with the minor qualifiers yes the minor qualifiers teams vying for these spots all around the world in fact we can take a look at some of them who have now found their way onward into those closed qualifiers so here we can see that there have been eight teams for the european region invited to be able to play within the the, the qualifier the closed qualifier to just go to the minor stage they need to be joined by another eight teams who will qualify throughout that online uh, process. We can look at this, it's the same for the CIS region. These are the eight teams here. We've got the likes of Gambit, who have previously won a major. They're already down in the doldrums. Windstrike, they were a surprise at the earlier major in 2018. And we look forward to some of the other regions, the Americas miners as well. These guys are split into two sub-regions. So here you can see, these are the North American contenders. You've got big names like NRG, who are playing fantastically in recent times, and newly picked up Envious rosters. And then you look at what's going on within the South American miners, and this is the likes of you know, the teams from Brazil. We've got an Argentinian team in here. And these guys are competing to get to the stage to play in the Americans minor just to get, you know, through the event to maybe even make it to the major. Yes, just the smelling chance of getting that close to the actual major itself within the Spodic Arena. The place where all of these teams want to be finding themselves and there is a boatload of them, Chad. Yeah, and you can see right here the amount of sub-regions needed for this Asian minor, right? You've got the likes of the, the Middle East as well as you've got China, we've got Southeast Asia, we've got East Asia, we've got Oceania with uh, some of my favorite teams down there. The likes of Renegades have to compete now through the qualifiers just to get to the minor stage where they're normally a mainstay, where they're normally winning this. So right now we've got the minor qualifiers leading into the minor, leading into the last chance minor playoff as it's now known. The third place teams from each of those minors will play off respectively in a bracket form to get those spots for the major. So we have 10 spots to fill and not a lot of time to do it. Not a lot of time at all. In fact, let's start to talk a little bit about why it is we've done all of this, Chad. Why is it that this major is going to be the biggest and the best so far. You have to think about the point we're at here. Katowice always delivers time and time again. We've finally merged the legacy of such an event with the prestige of the major. And now with the point that Counter-Strike's at, now that you can see that the top dogs in the world, they're all vying for that $1 million prize purse, take home the lion's share, which is $500,000. This thing here is gonna be massive. That's absolutely right, and you yourself can actually get in there and compete for this, but you do have to make the hard work and the effort and the dedication, the discipline, the desire to get yourself all the way through to this stage because, yes, a million-dollar prize pool is on the line and 500000 for first place. Yeah, well, this here is like our Super Bowl, right? It's, it, it's like our World Cup. And Counter-Strike's majors act as that. If you win the major, you go down in history. We've already talked about it, but you are immortalized within the game. You know, people are watching you from all over the world do what you do best. You pour your life, your heart, your soul into this, and it's the one pure leveling ground. Well, here is a non-level ground, one that is taking a toll on some of these teams, the Intel Grand Slam, Chad. And with that, winning four out of 10 rolling events will net you that pretty sweet prize of one million big ones into your bank account. This is the prestige that you're playing for. This event stands out. You show your colleagues, you show your fellow competitors, and you show the world on the biggest scale why you dedicate your life to this game, why this is our World Cup, why this is our Super Bowl. This is a spectacle beyond all spectacles, and this is the top of the Counter-Strike Mountain. This isn't just the Intel Extreme Masters. This is the Intel Extreme Masters Katowice 2019 Supreme Major. And this is a major that you do not want to miss, ladies and gentlemen. I hope to see you in this photo, and you'll see us there.